everybody. You know, you know, I take a drink first. Hey, everybody! Welcome to episode number fifty-six of the Stuff I Never Knew Trivia Game Show podcast. I'm Jeff. I'm your host tonight. Tonight we're joined with four players from around the world: Rick, George, Essa, and Tim. We'll meet them all in round two. But as you know, we just jump right into it now. We start in round one. Uh, tonight's show is called Are You Paying Attention? And I'll reveal what that means in round two. But in round one, we're going to go right to try bonds. Rick from Houston was the first one to call in tonight. Rick, uh, we're going to do try bonds, which means I'm going to give you uh, three words. Uh, for example, if I say car, elephant, and tree... There's a single word that ties those three words together. And in that example, it is... Trunk? Trunk is correct. So trunk is correct. So uh, we're going to go ahead. Everyone's going to get uh, two tri bonds tonight. And we'll go we'll start right with you, Rick. It's Tony Oscar Grammy. Uh, awards. Types of awards, correct. Over to George. Bread and butter. Midget Gherkin, Kosher Dill. Type of pickles. Types of pickles. Essa, we have Belly Break Ballet. Words that start with B. B. <laughs> Incorrect. They are all. Types of dances or dancers. Break dancing, oh. belly dancing, ballet dancing. Over to Tim. A nail, a car, a golf ball. All things that can be driven? Things that can be driven, correct. Oh, good one. Over Back up to Rick. <clears throat> a song, a heart, a policeman. Things with a beat. Things with a beat, correct. Rick sweeping round one. George, immigration, agriculture, defense. All departments of the U.S. government. That's exactly how I have it written. Departments of the U.S. government. George nice. sweeping the first round. Essa, time, stink. Atomic. Types of bombs. Types of bombs is correct. And, Tim, your final one tonight. Larry Fine, Mo Howard, Curly Howard. All three Stooges. Three Stooges is correct. You guys did really well. Seven out of eight collectively. Rick, George, and Tim with two. Essa with one. We're going to go into round two. And here's the twist for tonight. Uh, this is Are You Paying Attention To? We've done one of these before. We're going to do it again tonight. Are You Paying Attention means we're going to use the exact questions from a previous show and see how you do. You may or Let's may see. not have been on the show. You may or may not have listened. But if you were paying attention, you'll have an advantage tonight. So for round two, uh, in the hot seat, each player is going to sit in the hot seat. You'll get three questions. And a five-point bonus question. These questions were all taken from episode 27. Episode 27. So, Rick, welcome back to the show. How's it going? I, you finally uh, made it back about a couple weeks ago. How's it, anything, anything you could update us with since then? Well, yeah, the uh, weather's gotten a little bit colder. And uh, when you're in the AC business in Texas, that's not too good, so. I heard you had some frost. <laughs> frost, ice, uh, yeah, you know, snow. It's like I'm up north. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like you're up north because I've, I've shoveled my sidewalk three times today already. <laughs> okay, well, okay, not even close. I'll yeah. trade with you. Rick. I'll trade with you. <laughs> yeah. All right, Rick, are you ready? Yes. All right, hot seat. You're in the hot seat. Your first question. It's multiple choice. Which of these must legally be worn when driving a car is it a driving gloves b safety glasses c seat belt d knee pads seat belt seat belt is correct 
Rick, how many squares are on a Rubik's Cube? Uh, 54. 54 is correct. And our, one of our favorites, in which country was Arnold Schwarzenegger born? But I, I believe that might have been uh, Austria. <laughs> That's correct, Austria. All right, here we go. Rick, you could be running for a sweep here. I think you got this one. Name five, and you'll have ten seconds to do it. Let me set the timer up here. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, we got a two-hour delay. I just got the text message. Hey. Yeah. All right, Rick, I have ten seconds on the timer. I'm going to need you to name... I'm going to need you to name five characters on the TV show Friends. Uh, Rachel, Ross, Joey, Monica, Chandler, uh, Phoebe, uh, what the hell, what's the guy's name in the coffee shop? R R Ruger? <laughs> That's all right, you had six, I only needed five. Uh, Monica, Rachel, Joey, Chandler, Ross, and Phoebe. Uh, you had you had five in there, so we're good. You have ten points total, sweeping rounds one and two, off to a strong start. We're gonna we're gonna move up to George. George, welcome back. How's it going? Pretty good, man. How about you? All right, where are you calling in from? Uh, still down in Gulfport, Mississippi. Mississippi. Welcome back. You having snow and uh, ice down south? Uh, we had one day of snow for the first time in about fifteen years. Wow. <laughs> That's the polar vortex, or was it the uh, bomb cyclone that they call it this year? Last year <laughs> was the know, polar the vortex. Yeah, <laughs> Papa Rock, so any of the above. Yeah. <laughs> all right, are you ready, George? Let's go. Uh, we're going to sit in the hot seat. i got a multiple-choice question for you. Which of these is not a Washington, D.C. landmark? The Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial... The Eiffel Tower, the White House. Uh, the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. How many edges does a cube have? Twelve. Twelve is correct. We actually, I think we had that last week. Uh, that was a repeat question for Lola last week. And what is the only vowel... Not on the top line of a standard keyboard. No peeking. <laughs> letter A. The letter A is correct. George also running the sweep so far. I have a five point bonus question for you. You have ten seconds. And you can guess as many as you want. Uh, I just need you to hit the first five. And these are the first five full length Disney animated films and go. Cinderella, Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, Cinderella, Bambi. I got one for you. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Bambi was correct. It was after the buzzer. Uh, Pinocchio, Fantasia, and Dumbo were the other ones we were looking for. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've watched almost any of those. We've got six for you so far. Pretty good so far. Let's go over to Essa, also calling in on the same screen as George from Hello. Gulfport, Mississippi. Yes, indeed. <laughs> well, welcome back. Thanks. How are things going down south? Uh, it's actually pretty cold. <laughs> What's this winter stuff? Right. People We're, are freaking out. The north is taking over. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, let's see. We'll get you some points here. What color is the road that Dorothy must follow in The Wizard of Oz? Is it red, black, blue, or yellow? It is yellow. Follow, 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 follow. <laughs> How many inches are there in 100 yards? I know we told you there'd be no math. 
320. Incorrect. 36 times 100. 3,600. 3,600. And what type of dog is the cartoon character Snoopy? What type of dog is Snoopy? You're just holding a, a dog right before the show started. No pressure. Is he a beagle? He is a beagle. Correct. You got three points. You can get one more or five more. Get up to eight points total. I'm going to need you to name five and your time will start as soon as I finish reading the question. Name five of the most popular credit cards in the United States. And oh, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, um, Diners Club, Discover. Ooh, we got three. Visa, MasterCard, Amex was correct. Discover came after the buzzer. I can't give you that one. And Bravo is the final one there. So they give Bravo? you three more points. You are tied with George in second place. Uh, <laughs> so we, it comes down to Tim, the next one to come up. Tim calling in from Pittsburgh. For PA, going down to negative seven tonight. <laughs> <laughs> negative, <laughs> nice seven. negative seven. And uh, we've had about, we've probably had about seven inches of snow in the last seven hours, too. Yeah. Buried over here. Yeah. Oh. So. <laughs> yeah, I think the last episode I was on was episode eight, I believe, maybe. It's I, been it a be while. Wrong. It's been quite a bit. I was <laughs> well, on the that was um, episode two Christmas episode. I know that for sure. Do you remember what episode eight was? Uh, there was a music. There was a music trivia one. I was on that one. Oh, I, th I think my aunt won that one. Aunt Bean was the victor on that one. Is that correct? They, they could be right. Yeah, yeah. All well, right, Tim, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. And I think that was the last time Aunt Bean came on the show, too. She got her, <laughs> her victory and checked out. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Tim. Good. Sam I Am, a character created by Dr. Seuss, encouraged the consumption of which delicacy, and it's multiple choice, was it green eggs and bacon, green eggs and ham, Chocolate mousse, green eggs, and sausage. Well, green eggs and bacon sounds tempting, but it's <laughs> got to be green eggs and ham. That's right. As long as it's a pork product, we're good to go. Green eggs and ham is correct. How many inches are there in one square foot? One square foot. Yes. That would be uh, 144 That's square inches. That is correct. I get nervous as a math teacher. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, can't yeah, miss right. this one. And to put the square inches in there, not just inches. And how many inches? Are there? What what fruit has its seeds on the outside? Oh, uh, first first thought with that is a kiwi. I'm gonna go with kiwi. Kiwi incorrect. Kiwi has some fur on the outside. Strawberry. Oh, strawberry. Strawberry has the seeds on the outside. But you're at four right now. You need seven to take the lead. So you need three of these next five. Okay. I need you to name, uh, and your time will, you'll have 10 seconds once I finish the question. Name the five most spoken languages in North America. Okay. And go. Um, English. French, Spanish, um, oh, um, oh, oh, time oh, is oh. up, but it doesn't matter. You had four points. We're going to add five, six, seven. You got three English, Spen Spanish, Spanish and French, <laughs> uh, Spanish and French are correct. Those three were right. German and Italian were the other ones. Okay. German and Italian. But it was enough to get you into the final. We're going to have Rick versus Tim in the final round, the showdown. All right. But, uh, George and Essa, thank you so much for calling in. I know you rushed around to get in tonight. I do appreciate you calling in. Hope you can stay warm down in Mississippi. I can say, I think, think we got a little bit of a better chance. Yeah, <laughs> you do. <laughs> well, if you want to hang out, feel free to stick around, and uh, uh, we'll catch up at the end of the show. All right. I'm going to go ahead and mute you.
Oh, you muted yourself. You, you're familiar with the format. All right, here we are in the final round. We have Rick versus Tim. Uh, we have Rick has a little bit ahead right now with 10 points. Tim has 7. But stealing is available. Tim can steal questions if Rick doesn't know it. And likewise, Rick can steal Tim's questions. Rick, since you are the point leader, you get to choose. Do you want to go first or second tonight? I will uh, defer. Defer to Tim. Well, right. our, so Tim will go first, then Rick. Uh, in round, the final round here, round three, these questions were taken directly from episode 32. And this was a great one. It's which came first. We haven't done these in a while. Which came first? So I'm going to give you two events. And in this case, it's inventions versus natural disasters. So you got to tell me which came first. Was something invented before or after the, a natural disaster occurred? Uh, you, know, you take a little bit of optimism, a little bit of pessimism. There we go. All right, Tim. Apple revolutionizes music listening by unveiling its iPod MP3 music player or Hurricane Katrina? Which came first? The, uh, the iPod, iPod, the iPod yeah. came first. Like the early iPod. 2000 or 99. All right. Hurricane Katrina. Was that was 05? Was 2005. And the iPod was 2001. Tim would correct. Rick, we have Amazon launches its Kindle electronic book. Or the earthquake and tsunami hit Sonoma. I'm sorry, that garbled up the last. I'm sorry. I, th I think it was Lola. Give a little feedback from Lola. Amazon launches its Kindle electronic ebook reader, or the earthquake and tsunami hit S Samoa. Earthquake? Let's see. The Kindle was in 2007, and the earthquake and tsunami hit Samoa in 2009. It was the Amazon Kindle. And obviously, Tim, you can't steal on these first ones. It's either, either or. Uh, back to Tim. We have an 8.8 .8 earthquake strikes Chile, or Elon Musk announces the Hyperloop, a giant pneumatic tube transport system. Which came first? What was the first one again? The 8.8 .8 earthquake in Ch oh, Chile. In Chile. Aha. Let me restart that over. Tim, an 8.8 .8 earthquake strikes Chile... Or Elon Musk announces the Hyperloop. I forget when the Chile earthquake was. Uh, I want to. I'll, I'll say the Hyperloop was the first. Let's see. The Chile earthquake was in 2010. The Hyperloop was announced in 2013. 2013. Ooh. I don't remember when the Chile earthquake was. That's a big one, 8.8. .8. Rick, the SARS pandemic, if you remember SARS, or eBay? eBay. Which came first? Was it SARS or eBay? eBay. So SARS started in November of 2002. eBay launched in 1995. Rick with the point. We're at 11 for Rick, 8 for Tim. We have another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten questions remaining. Stealing is now wide open. If you don't know the answer, your opponent can steal it. Back to Tim. Traveling at speeds of one to two miles per hour, what is the slowest mammal? Sorry, it broke up a little bit. What was the speed? Traveling at speeds of one to two miles per hour, what is the slowest mammal? Speeds of one to two miles per hour. 
What is the slowest mammal? That'd be uh, would that be humans? Incorrect. Rick with the steel. Go with a, a sloth. Sloth is correct. Correct. <laughs> okay. Over it's... to over to Rick. Sleeping twenty two hours a day and with a diet of ninety nine percent eucalyptus. What is the laziest animal in the world? Well, I believe that might be a koala bear. <laughs> koala is correct. Back to t- back to Tim. On the tip of what will you find a plastic aglet? A G L E T. Let's see, aglet. It's a good question. <laughs> We only ask good questions. Yeah. <laughs> I hear Lola. I don't see a screen though. You can hear Lola. I can hear. I Lola's muted. <laughs> uh, I'm still still going. How can you hear Lola? I I heard her. I heard her say, "Can I steal the question?" Oh. Maybe I have her muted. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. All right, Tim, I got to do the three, two, one. I would say, uh, oh. Uh, three, two, one. T square. What was it? T-square. I can't hear you. A T square. A T square. Incorrect. Rick with the steel. Excuse me, Jeff, while I bend down and tie my shoelaces. Shoelaces, yeah. that's the plastic yeah. tip on the end of the shoelace. The it's called an aglet. I knew I heard it somewhere. I just couldn't, I could not think of where that, where that was from. Over to Rick. On the tip of what will you find a metal ferrule? F E R R U L E. A bearing? A bearing. Incorrect. Tim for the steel. Uh, the a metal ferrule, ferrule it's called? F-E-R-R-U-L-E. Ferrule. Ferrule? Ferrule. That might be a... Let's say the head of a nail. Head of a nail, incorrect. It's the tip of a pencil. It's what holds the eraser in. Okay. That's the part that holds the eraser in. Wow. Uh, Tim, still your question now. Which New York City building is nicknamed after something you could press your clothes with? Can you hear me now, Jeff? I can. Ooh, yeah. I could could hear you before, but I had muted you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, don't give me that. I didn't. I stopped. I stopped right before it happened. <laughs> Tim, which New York City building is nicknamed after something you could press your clothes with? Um, can I answer? Can I answer? Can no, I answer? Lola. <laughs> Lola. Come on, it's flat. <laughs> Lola. <laughs> I think I already had it. The, the, the flat iron. The flat iron. <laughs> Correct. Lola, no more clues. Over to Rick. Rick's going Rick's to play in protest now. He's, he's already got me by the five or six points right now. Rick, <laughs> what city in Nevada has a name based on the meadows in Spanish? The Las, what? Vegas. Las Vegas is correct. Tim, what wild animal kills more people in India each year than tigers and leopards. Can I answer? Lola. <laughs> Wild animal, though. Um, let's say the... Boy, episode 32 was brutal. This is a... <laughs> Yeah, this is episode two. All um, what wild animal kills more people in India each year than tigers and leopards? Say an elephant. Elephant, incorrect. Rick with the steel. 
Snake? Snake, incorrect as well. It's Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Rick, your question. What name is usually given to bananas cultivated for cooking? Plantain? Plantain is correct. Tim, how many stars make up the constellation the Big Dipper? First is seven. Seven? Yes. Is correct. And Rick, final question. How many years does it take for Halley's Comet to pass by the Earth? Oh, jeez. Seventy? Seventy. Incorrect. Tim with the steel? Ninety, ninety-three years. Ninety-three. Also incorrect. Uh, Rick was in the ballpark with seventy, but it's seventy-five, or we also accepted seventy-six. So that means through it all, Rick. Well, let me mute that. Let me. I'll bring you right back, Lilith. But hold on, I gotta mute you because I'm getting an echo. Through it all, it was Rick versus Tim in the final round. I want to thank all my players tonight. We had Rick, George, Essa, Tim, and a surprise appearance by Lola. Uh, thank you so much for playing. This was episode 56. Are you paying attention? Well, are you? Well, I was, and unfortunately, Ken Poffelsberger wasn't paying attention to the Jaguars defense. So, <laughs> eh. Ouch. I think that some of that was uh, yeah, play calls there. Jeff, <laughs> guess what? What? It's my birthday today. Happy birthday! Thank you. Oh, that we waited. For, we yeah. did. We were waiting for you. Oh yeah, you knew that was my birthday. No, but we were we were waiting <laughs> for you to play. Okay, I, so can I get like a win for being my birthday? You get an honor. You get a note in the show notes. Honorary birthday win. Happy birthday to Lola. <laughs> Oh gosh! We can, we can all sing real fast. Jeff, I was paying attention to the background on my. Uh, you choose the. Uh, you choose the the llamas and the goat as the background. Yeah, the... are you paying attention to? There's two sheep looking at each other. Yeah, I'm always in your mind. I so see that. We can't get sued anymore to sing Happy Birthday. So. Happy okay, no, 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 birthday. Okay, hold on a second. I want to accept the Happy Birthday in French. I don't know how to sing that. Can you sing it for us? Happy Birthday. Yeah, to you. You sing it to you in French. What would I sing it to me in French? I just got it in French. I want you to do it in French. Va les boues. I don't know what that is, but that is not French. Because, <laughs> you know, usually French makes you sexy. Paradis. Yeah, paradis. Paradis. Uh -huh. Okay, I have a question. Speaking of English and French, what do that... Where is it coming from? The when people speak French, they are gonna ha ha ha. Where does that come from? <laughs> ha ha ha. Um, probably a card. Probably a cartoon. They teach us that in school. Yeah, but, if you want to relate to I, the French I people. Hear two things. Number one, people yeah. do, which is like a yeah, yeah and yeah. then it's a ha ha ha. Ha ha. I like trashy women. Ha ha. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm sorry I missed the game. I was that was late. You're just celebrating your birthday. Here's a trivia. Yeah. Who's appeared on more episodes, Lola or Shelly? Well, Shelly was on 35 consecutive episodes. Yeah, that's a lot of episodes. And then she ha she just stopped. <laughs> She's like, I'm done. Oh, no, it. her streak is untouchable. With this. It will take okay, until the wait, year. Wait, wait, wait. Shelly, I only play against her like on maybe three episodes or four. How can she have done 35 in a row? Well, you start playing more later. She was on uh, 35 straight episodes. Yeah, I think I was only on three, so you got me there. Yeah, yeah. The, the next, if you wanted to beat her streak at the at the rate I record shows, the yeah. earliest possible way. Twenty twenty five. Twenty twenty one. Twenty two, I believe. Right? Yeah. You've been how many shows you've been on, Rick? Uh, five or six. Not yeah. I was yeah. on episode. Can you stop two. doing last two. minute game. I just have to do it when I can. I'm, I'm trying to do it on Tuesdays. But I would like to brag about this on my third. Your third W. Another, yeah, you're season. not the only W from Texas. What was, what was the, uh, the, uh, we won't go there. the... The aglet was the, was the, eye, the uh, tip of the... 
shoelace. Shoelace, yeah, I heard that before. I could, I could not think of where it, what it, where it was from, though. Oh, it was but. so hard not to scream the answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just change the I'm name right. of this. Oh, let's see. And then you tell me with the rhinoceros and all those questions about animals, and I'm like, what, what, what? I'm not here. <laughs> I enjoyed the uh, I enjoyed the try bonds today. Okay, guys. Anyway, I gotta go. Well, happy birthday! Bye bye. <laughs> I just changed the title. It's the wrap up show. When's the next episode? <laughs> yeah. uh, next Tuesday. We're gonna keep recording on Tuesdays. Okay. And when do we get to ask you our questions? Oh, you, who's putting that together? I don't. I, I don't know. I get. I can throw a few together. <laughs> yeah. Well. Well, we did. We did one episode where it was. Um, it was, oh, the co-host rotational, where we had four players, and they each brought 15 questions. We don't have to bring that many. Maybe we could do uh, nine, 12, maybe 12 questions. Cool. And everybody everybody takes turn hosting, and they ask the other four people questions, or the other three people questions. I'll, I'll propose that in the group. I want to thank everybody who's watching. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the show. We'll catch you next Tuesday.